Hey everybody, welcome back to Simple Outdoors. I'm here to announce the top five for the survival challenge. Now we had over, what, 17, 18 or so entries? And I watched uh, all of them. And I'll tell you, it was hard to choose. I was going to do this out on the nature trail, but it's uh, got a rainstorm out there and everything's all wet and windy. So I'm in my shed. So first off, I want to say thank you to everybody who uh, did the survival challenge. Everybody did great. Uh, I loved it. But uh, I think we all know who unofficially won the survival challenge. And that's Josh from Hidden Hammock. Because uh, he survived uh, a serious situation while trying to complete the, uh, the survival challenge. And he survived a heat stroke. And that's serious business. Um, I'm glad he's uh, a lot better now, and uh, but in my book, he unofficially won a survival challenge. Good job, Josh. Um, wanted to do the challenge where pretty much anybody could do it. Um, I want to say thank you to Jenny D. Style. She was able to do it. Um, very beautiful video. Uh, Sue B. 860, she did one really good in the car um, whoever she had the AC unit in the living room showed us some uh, great gear and uh, some tools excellent hammock mountain showed some of the survival gear amazing awesome um, I'm not gonna go through the whole list but everybody did wonderful uh, so let's uh, let's get to it so the top five I chose was, uh, it was really difficult, but a lot of people uh, showed a lot of different techniques, uh, like Survival Sam, he did, uh, he made a bed with the ferns, um, everything. So let's go down the list that I chose for the top five. I'll put it on my community post and we can start voting. Once I upload this video, I'll, uh, I'll post the, uh, the voting poll on my community page. So let's see here. This is in uh, no particular order. So I'm gonna do, uh, first one I chose was uh, Hojangles Outdoors. Uh, she did a, a real true life survival situation. She had the power outage. She wasn't uh, going to do a survival challenge. But, you know, a lot of people think, you know, survival is getting lost in the woods. But with natural disasters, you also have to survive. Um, hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes, power outages, snowstorms, flooding, everything. How are you going to survive that if you have to evacuate or if you have to or if you're stuck inside? So basically from what I've seen in her video with the power outage and all the supplies she had, she could pretty much survive a few weeks on all of the stuff I've seen in her video. Um, good job, Robin. Hojangles Outdoors. That's uh, my first choice in random order, no particular order. Uh, but Hojangles Outdoors with Robin, she's in the top five because of that power outage. The next one is the LC12. Um, it's good to have uh, the kids get outside and uh, show them the nature, show them the outdoors. And they also had a good technique of putting the plastic bags on the trees to collect moisture and condensation for drinking water. Um, and eating the kangaroo. They were next to the golf course. Beautiful uh, drone footage. So the Aussie 12 in the top five. The next one is in the top five is Steve the Transit Camper. Great job. Uh, he did the road, uh, road rage with uh, a crazy boon uh, because he cut him off at that intersection at the junction and uh, got stickers thrown at him. 
but uh, that could happen uh, road rage someone's after you or your vehicle broke down and you have no supplies how do you survive in that situation and uh, Steve the transit camper uh, came through on that challenge there so good job Steve in the top five the next one two spots left the next one is Paul from Cushion the Bush he managed to survive by not getting trampled by those cows that he was trying to spook away because they'll trample your ass but he survived in the in the, the rainstorm and uh, his survival kit is uh, pretty decent for a guy like Paul to survive overnight and uh, great great footage of the storm and the cows uh, beautifully done video in the uh, in the storm I always wanted to go camping in, in a storm like that I, I go and then the weather changes and it's beautiful out but he managed to survive overnight in that storm and without getting trampled by cows and uh, good job Paul in the top five okay that's four spots I got one spot left out of 17 18 19 entries everybody did a phenomenal job it's really hard to choose so the last spot in the top five has to go to Yoast Yoast uh, phenomenal job he uh, he had the, the clips in there with Les Stroud uh, beautiful editing in his videos and uh, just amazing work and his uh, survival setup and the journey and how he would get lost uh, just amazing beautiful so the top five is for Yoast so that is my top five Hojangles Outdoors the Alsi 12 Steve the Transit Camper Cush in the Bush and Yoast those are my top five um, everybody did phenomenal it's just hard to choose now I know how other people who had to choose felt uh, people don't think it's that hard it's like oh you just choose your favorite people or the favorite videos no because when they're all this good you just everybody's a winner in my book thank you so much everybody uh, in the beginning I thought there was only going to be like three entries in the beginning beginning of the weekend and then at the last minute we had over what 17 18 or more entries um, you know I'm not going to go down the whole list but uh, Hidden Hammock Josh did phenomenal I'm glad he's okay uh, Hammock Mountain did uh, some great gear explanations uh, Jenny D style did amazing with uh, her talent and her video style I loved it um, Subi 860 did the the car when uh, she was going to get robbed um, Artworks of Network Travel did a beautiful job in the, the woods, the scenery, and the cooking. Uh, Canadian Beaver hid behind that sign, behind the wall. Kevin's Camping Adventure. The Outdoorsman did the, found that, that soda and the MRE. The Maltese Falcon under the tree. Uh, Mick Happy Camper, he did the bike in the storm. Survival Sam made those ferns into a bed. Brilliant. Uh, so many people here. Uh, thank you, everybody, for doing the survival challenge. I'll put the poll up on my community page after this posts on YouTube, and we'll see who the winner is. But everybody did amazing. It was a lot of fun. But top five is Hojangles Outdoors. The LC12, Steve the Transit Camper, Cushion the Bush, and Yoast. So good job, everybody. And uh, 
go down and vote for uh, your favorite video. I know I will. It's going to be hard voting. Hmm. It was hard choosing the top five. Now I got to choose who I'm going to vote for. I didn't think that far ahead. But uh, thank you, everybody. I love all of you. Great community. And uh, I guess after the voting here, uh, we should probably vote for, uh, I don't know how long, four or five days. Um, let's say, you know, five days. I'll stop the, the polling on Sunday. Um, today is Tuesday, I think. Yeah. So we'll go from uh, now till Sunday. And we'll see who uh, the winner is. And then we'll be on to the next challenge for August for Hojangle's gadgets. I have some gadgets too, so I think she's going to like these gadgets. So thank you everybody, and go down there and vote for who your favorite one is. I don't know who I'm going to vote for yet. It's going to be difficult again. Thanks everybody. I'm Tim. This is Simple Outdoors. Everybody did great, beautiful, amazing videos. I had a lot of fun, and it was it was just awesome. I uh, emailed the playlist to uh, the associate of Les Stroud. Haven't heard back anything yet, but they're busy. Who knows? But at least I sent it to them, and uh, everybody tagged Les Stroud's uh, hashtags. So who knows? Maybe they just watch them and, and and like them thanks everybody go down and vote this is simple outdoors i'll see you on the next one bye